What's up, world? This is the Cannonball Podcast. I am your host, Captain C. This, and with me, as always, we have my crewmates here. We have Ginger Beard to my right. Hey, hey, hey. We have One Eye Josh straight ahead. Arr, nice to meet you, ladies. And to my left, we have Double Shock Andy. What's up? All right, this is going to be the 300 Spectacular. We had 300 downloads, finally. Spectacular! Woo! I probably... So, the 200 downloads, Spectacular. This might be a little bit long. We're hoping. Yes. It's a special. It's definitely a special. And with us for the first one is Andy. Hey! First Spectacular. Yep. I know. He's never here. Because my, my work schedule is so random. That's oh, true, yes. but you finally get to do a spectacular. Yeah. All right, so... I for sure I was going to get scheduled to work today, but... But you know what? My boss wasn't there yesterday, and if they would have tried to call me in today, I would have said, fuck no. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I like to talk about something that we saw, uh, what we talked about yesterday. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, I'm just going to say this. As a reference, I... You know, I want to go right into one of the topics. I want to do Superman. Yeah. So we go. We talked about it. I give it a C minus. That's my grade. C, just C. Yeah, I give it a C minus. Story wise, is a okay. is a C. Yeah. Character wise, I'd give it an A. Yeah. You know, the characters are definitely good. Development wise, to um, how they how they are developing together as a cast. Seems really, you know, they're really good at it. Um, art, art style, B minus. Yeah, it could be better. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I just, I don't understand why it's all like anime. Well, like, I mean, it's not. Well, I like Tomboy Lois Lane. Well, they do, look a lot. The, the reason why they Dude, did half of the, well, three quarters of the fandom, they love it. They love her. And then, and then I'm like, um, okay. But, but still, it's... I, I don't... I'll be honest. I don't care about Lois. At all. I'm well, this, act, this one actually makes you do care for her. Yeah. I don't know. I just... I, well, she's just... In, in all honesty, I think she, well, she's just around. Would it be... What's, it, what's it for me as... Love interest. That's well, all. that's what most of the love interests are. Yeah. So. I mean, but that doesn't mean that they're not good. I don't know. I just. I don't th- care f- for Lois. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. The, 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 that's just my. So is that your reason? So is that your conclusion on Mary Jane? Well, yeah. What the hell is going on? Oh. Um. Yeah. I don't know why. Well, the mic is, um... Uh, I don't... You know what? No, it's, oh. it's, um, flashing. I don't know why. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is it losing connection? All yes. right. To continue on, sorry, folks. We had a little bit of technical difficulties. Yeah. Um, continuing on what Ginger Barry was saying about Lois, I don't have any problem with her. I don't... My only problem with the characters is I don't really particularly think... Jim... I think Jimmy Olsen's pretty annoying. Mm. I'll be honest, but most comedic characters can be annoying if they don't hit correctly. Yeah, yeah. The last he was episode. Supposed to be funny. He was supposed to be, yeah. Yeah, but I guess it didn't work. He's not funny. Well, yeah, he has work. his moments. He has his comedic I, I've moments. I've not, not seen him yet. I've seen you laugh at him, so don't start. I'm laughing at Superman. Not, not. I, yeah, th- whatever. Still, I mean, if this. I don't know why I'm not I'm not interested in in getting to it. I mean I like all the all the old um nineties um well, Superman um cartoon. I mean I liked it because uh, I don't understand what you have against with the anime art style, even though because we all like Teen Titans and that's fairly an anime art mm-hmm. style. I'm not I'm I I never said Oh. I never said I was against it. I feel like I just feel like well, but they he, he used that 
a little um, too much. You know, I feel like... Uh, I don't think they use it nearly as much as you would think. Because all of the animated movies are American-styled animation. Except... Yeah, except for that... Um, well, that the one... Um, the Catwoman movie... Well, yeah, but I mean, that's the one difference. Everything else has been sort of Americanized. So in, in my personal opinion, it's a, it's, that's why I said it's a C, it's a C minus or a C for, a C for me, really, because you said, I, you said it was a, you said it was a B. No, I said C minus. I said C minus. I said art style was B. Out of the whole, all, the whole, the whole thing together is a C minus to me. Because in my personal opinion, if the story lacks, characters are only going to bring it up to a certain point, you know? Indeed. If the story is just bad. And this last episode was a meh episode. Meh. Isn't that... Isn't it the episode where um, G- G- Jimmy gets, um, like, to kidnapped uh, by a monkey? or uh, You got a kid. So you have watched it. Oh no, oh no, it's in the preview. What like, do you mean Bigfoot? Was Sasquatch? Yeah, he says Sasquatch. It's, yeah. actually, it's actually Brain and Mr. Uh, Malak. Yeah. Ah, of course it is. <laughs> uh, but here's the, um, and here's the, uh, I'll, I, I'll ruin it a little bit for you. Um, they're a gay couple. Well, I know that. In the comments. A German and a French. Yes, but it's also hinting at bestiality. Yes. Well, he is a brain. I mean, it's not really... I mean, yes, but he was a human brain at one point. He was yes. a human, you know? I still count that as bestiality. It's robosexology. <laughs> what, robosexology? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's both robosexology, well, like you said. And robosexology and, and, um, and, be- and bestiality. bestiality. I'm sorry. We're together. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but to me, I think the brain is somewhat a Nazi, so when... You kind of do this where you, you're trying to make them relatable and you make them gay and instead you're not like making them super evil like Nazi-like. It kind of yeah, it kind, it of, kind of ruins it for me a little bit because it's like every single villain that you're introduced is – some of them are pretty decent villains. This is the first time that you're actually – we've been introduced to villains and they're trying to make them somewhat good people. Relatable mm-hmm. and stuff. And you're like, it didn't work the first no. time I watched it, and then the second time I watched it, I was like, it did. It's 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 not working. And I actually I actually prefer the Superman story arc in the episode with Lois more to that. And then when you find out Superman's trying to tell Jimmy Olsen he has powers, and Jimmy Olsen says, "Oh, I knew that already." Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god! Because he's horrible at disguising his powers. And and apparently his um his disguise in what general I mean it's just well I mean the glasses, that's, that's you know? always that's always been Superman from the day one. I don't know, He's just... put on a suit and glasses. I mean the same can be said I guess if you want for Batman. I mean you can still see his chin. Mm. <laughs> I guess. Is he in the show? No, not yet. How about Lex Luthor? He won't be in the show. Well, he might be. Let me get no the, the he, cameo. No, the hell? What do I do? A pop tart? Okay. Oh no, it's not that. It's he's already made an appearance, but they said the first season does not revolve around Lex Luthor. It revolves around Lois. No, what the hell? <laughs> no, no, it revolves around Lois's father. And Amanda Waller, and from the looks of it, Slade Wilson, Deathstroke. Ah, okay. That's who are the big bad mm-hmm. in this season. Okay. Lex Luthor's already made an appearance, but you don't know it's Lex Luthor because a scientist refers to him as Alex, his mm-hmm. actual name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because his name is Alexander Luthor. Yeah. But you don't hear his last name, and that, but everybody basically said that's Lex. That's Luthor. That's Lex. Yep. That's going to be Lex Luthor. Oh, yeah. Which I'm actually like, I'm actually happy that they didn't straight up say Lex mm-hmm. or anything like that. I was like, oh, that's nice. That's why I said, like, I don't mind the show and I actually really do like the Superman parts. Sorry. There. 
I actually like the Superman parts in the episodes. And Lois Lane isn't annoying to me. The more you watch the show, she's not annoying at all. That she's actually very pleasant. I am find her annoying, though. And she's not at all... I mean... There are moments where you're like, oh, this is like another strong female character in Woke. But then she learns her lesson and she's like, I am a piece of shit. Yeah, you are. She's like, I, I, I am a piece... And you're like, thank it's you. It's Velma. Like, like, you're thank, not Velma. Yeah, thank you. That's actually great character <laughs> development. Okay. I'm a horrible, horrible piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, thank you. That's, all, that's actually great character development. But I fucking hate Jimmy Olsen. I can't stand Jimmy. And it's not nothing to do with race swapping or nothing. He's annoying. I hate Flame Bird. I'm sorry. I, when he says something like, it's aliens, I'm like, oh, god damn it. Not again. I find him annoying. I also don't give a shit about the race swap that much. I don't care about the race swap because they've done it to him like so many times. It's at this point, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, that, like, I like, listen, I... Maybe when the first race something they ever did with him, I was upset about it a little yeah. bit. I mean, I think it's a little racist to make the black character the over... Annoying one? No, no. The the one that believes in everything is like a conspiracy. Yeah. I think that's a little racist to do also, that. Also, it's like I mean, they did it with Shaggy with Velma and Scooby or Scooby yeah. Shaggy. Was like, they took away like, oh no, Norville hates drugs. He hates stoners. And I'm like... So you're ruining the the core fundamental episode thing of Shaggy that is in the stoner. But you also made you also made him a person who's naturally scared of ghosts. Yeah, and a person who is a simp. Uh, okay, I wanted to talk about the Velma show, but now I'm <laughs> sorry. Is, I, no, no, I'm happy for you. Yeah. Go for it. Okay, well, let's, let's so. I think well, this well, this show was created um, for hate. It was. It yeah, was. They it were was hated. definitely it was. There was. There was no, no shit. There was no love for Scooby Doo in this show at all. Oh well, like, no, duh! It was a mini. K- they see this is what Minnie Kaling did. She took her old script, which Warner Brothers said no to. Yeah. And then they told her, "We would actually like you to work on a Scooby Doo show." So she just changed all the characters in her old script to Scooby Doo characters. That's it. Yeah. That's all she did. Interesting. But so it was kind of uh, like a a real a real um, f u to the fans. Yes. Well, I forgot what it was. But she made a response about something. I think it was Harry Potter, or Hufflepuff, right? I don't care, dude. I, do I want to say what I said, though. Okay. All right. So <laughs> I, she said, "No one's um, clamoring to get into Hufflepuff. No one's." It is says a lot of people are dying to get into Hufflepuff. No one's dying to watch your films or TV shows. Nice. Yeah. And, and 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 she replied, "No, because well, but she no, just means your shows suck." Yeah. But then, uh, but then, but they all, uh, is he? He's laughing, but he's also looking something up. No, I'm laughing at. I'm reading. I looked up Velma on IMDb. Uh-huh. The score is horrible. I know. Don't even One point six out of ten. Yeah, it, it, it sucks. <laughs> I want to know who and scored somebody, the one. And some people, there's a parents' guide that says like sex and nudity, violence and gore, profanity, mm-hmm. yeah, alcohol, well. drugs and smoking, and frightening and intense scene. Somebody marked them all as severe. Well, you know, uh, I, yeah, yeah. it's like it's, it's like a, it's like a, I said it's. I think, I, it's it was created, but to be hated. Hate it right. And I'm gonna be yeah, honest. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I, and I only, miss Logan. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, and I understand you, you, me, you guys. We talked about it. Mm-hmm. Our our version that we talked about is better. Is better a thousand times. But yeah, yeah, yeah. it might it might not it might not be as um, popular uh, as as the Velma show because yeah. oh it will be a thousand times popular than that. No, because see, hate hate is it gets the most attention. No, it doesn't because they yeah. just canceled it. Everyone's like, one of the guys Seriously? I was watching. Yes, YouTuber. all of the Warner Brother animation department got fired because of the YouTuber the I was watching. No, about Velma. okay, stop, Sorry. stop, please, just 
Can you stop? I want to hear this. I want to hear this. All the Warner Brothers animation department got fired. Got laid off. Um, Due to the writer's strike, everything in Hollywood has halted. Which means, basically, Warner Brothers is slowly considering shows that they want to can and shows that they're probably going to be like, hmm, well, that didn't do well. Wow. Also, I also know that they said they greenlit Vilma 2 season, season 2, but they have not said anything about working on it, nor have they said when it's going to be released. Okay, well, so you're telling me all it took was a strike? Yep. To, wow. Well, yeah, when your actors and writers think that they deserve more money for streaming and other stuff, and they produce garbage. And the, Is this supposed to be like an adult Yes. It's series. an adult yes. series, yes. Okay, so that I explains see, a lot, then. Yes. I've seen the clips, so... Are you actually looking at clips right now? No. Oh, I'm reading... No, I'm here, reading about here. some of it. I like, know what there's a... Sh- I know what there's... Bill and Daphne are gay and a couple. <laughs> there is a... Not. Andrew, I, I mean... Girl, um... There is a scene in in the show but it has high school, the girls... Um, but taking a school sh- shower, and they sh- they show all the girls in the nude. You, yeah, is of course you you only, you only well, well, see the asses. That's all. I mean, there's also a scene where Velma tr- dresses up as a man and makes out with a very drunk Daphne. It's also a scene where Daphne that explains. This there's also a scene where Daphne's chest is exposed. Yes. Really? Multiple times. Wow. Yeah. Titties and all. Yes. There's also a scene where Fred gets gay raped. Oh. Oh, oh Jesus. Really? really? You're joking? Well, Fred's gay, so. No. He's like, is he gay? Yeah, they made him gay. God, what in the hell? Yeah, I'm going to get rid of somewhat normal, but it's still ruined his shaggy. Norval. Yeah. I'm going to call him Norval. <laughs> he's not no, his name was shaggy to me. I'm no, sorry. no, his name he's is Norval. Not. Okay, he is... He's normal. You, you, how dare tongue, you use okay? that name? Yeah, right, tongue, don't you <laughs> dare use that name. Shame. Norville. Shame. Shame. His name is Norville. Norville. And that's... It's like, Booville is what Shame. it is. It's fucking Booville. Hey, it's Wait. Booville is what it is. Booville. Hey, I think the name of the... I can't the, um, believe. And school, also, Booville, there's right? no Scooby-Doo in that show, by Actually, the way. Actually, the, the, the place of Scooby-Doo is a, is a black lady. I'm going to kill you. What? I'm going to leap over this table. When you said, when you told me it's going to be a lady. Scooby? It's a black lady. <laughs> and it really is. That's the one place that they did for Scooby-Doo. I'm oh not saying you. Oh, my God. It's a girl, for, it's a girl that, he has a, that Norval ends up dating. But so, it turns, yeah, they're but actually, so, what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hang on. They turned Scooby into um, a bitch. Yeah, they're uh, also they're also insinuating that Shaggy and Scooby have an unhealthy relation, sexual relationship. Uh, that's nasty. Uh, that's what that, that's what that means. So he's basically saying that he's fucking his dog. Yes, they're oh, no, best friends. Stop it! Oh my god. Well, they can't be happy if they don't ruin it, you know. Yeah. And I'm get, do they swear a lot in that too? Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's an adult after, show. Of course they do. There's F words oh, a lot. There's there's really there's don't. swear words that don't need to be swear. There's <laughs> scenes that don't even need to have swear words in them. Holy fucking god! Yeah, yeah. Say, somebody say, says here in the best scene, Velma antagonizes a cop who runs, runs her runs, runs, over, runs and over her tooth her. falls out. He runs over Again, her. Again, deserves right? it. That was the best ever. I feel happy. I'm like, yay! I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you, and I'm going to tell you this now. This is exactly a quote that I've heard said and has been said on multiple YouTube videos. Basically, the studios have said this. We're not going to negotiate with any actors or writers, you know, um, unions, until we see all of them homeless and begging for money. The studios are basically saying, we're not losing money by doing anything. We're just going to sit here and let you guys lose money. I'm telling you this now. People are going to work for us whether you like it or not. There's a lot of people that would that are not unionized that are probably working right now on shows. Because they can work with non-union actors and non-union writers as far as they're concerned. Any studio can. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah. But and I don't think that they're going to be producing as much as they want. No. Most definitely not. 
God. The only, the only, the only business that suffers is movie theaters. Yeah. Because they don't get as much movies as they want. So what's probably going to end up happening is a lot of movie theaters are going to show older classic movies. Yeah, they've already started. Yeah. I mean, see, during during the summer, they showed a lot of, like... They yeah, they, they, yeah, because they have to they have to keep business going or yeah. else they're going to get screwed. So, like, they're mm-hmm. going to also bring in a lot of anime movies, too, because that subsidizes them as well. well yeah, because it's... It's, um... It's, uh, um... Becoming a um a trend. You know? Yeah. Well, so. if you're a movie theater, if I was an owner of a movie theater and I know that Hollywood's not going to give me the production that I need, then I'm going to outsource and look for other sources of revenue. I would show Japanese cre- movies. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah. I would create my own Hollywood. I think a lot of people want to. Yeah. It's yeah. just that you'd have to work with SAG, and do you but really what? want to work the union? It's called SAG. SAG. Uh, ew. And these guys, yeah, these are the people that suck. Though, if you were going to make your own Hollywood, I would only work with non-union writers. You can be a part of the union if you want. I don't care. But the moment you cause trouble, it's like, well, Ow, you're then fucked. that guy's going to be hired because he's not union and he actually will do it for you. Listen, I, I agree with some stuff the union people are saying. Like what? That they deserve better pay. They than, don't. Well, like, no, they, some of them, some of them, most of them don't. Most no, of them most don't. of them don't. But some of them but do some actually do. good work. You know, deserve better pay. Dude, yeah. they get paid millions of dollars to write movies and, and sit on their ass and do nothing. Apparently, it's not enough. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, don't even don't don't even try. Don't try to argue, right? Like, don't even try. Don't even try for the actors either. Those actors are saying, oh "My, my children are suffering." Have you have wait? What? Yes, wait, hold they're on, all what? saying that. Why? Because they're out. Because they're at home. Why? Are they, what? Dude, they're trying to make their job. The game of, of sympathy. Yeah, they're trying to make their job sound like a blue collar job. It's when not. It's not. And nobody in the blue collar workforce. It's actually, fine. Yeah, I think. I think you, I heard my dad. My dad was talking about it recently, and he's like. Oh, poor you. Your kitty gets to go to a private school for free. Almost near free. Yeah. And I had to pay thousands of dollars to go to send my kid to a private school. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Nobody, nobody, nobody is, you know, nobody No at one all. cares. Yeah. Besides a single person that's on their side. Yeah, yeah. The only one who doesn't care are the woke people. That's the only one that cares. That's most gonna, of them. Uh, I was going to say, uh, um, like, can I, that kind of reminds me of the um like the whole plot of um um Team America World um Police. Oh, great. Like, yeah, you're gonna bring. No, that. we're not talking about the fucking shitters. Okay, no. The what the, the actors killed? You know, yeah, that's what they're called. The actors killed. Yeah, well, what shitters? Because yeah. I think he. No, they they're right. They're they're they complete, up. yeah. They're all hypocrites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're all hypocrites. Actually, here's a fun fact. Here's another one that I want to talk about. So, you know, Demon. so Sorry. so you know the movie. You, you know they're doing a remake, Andrew, of mm-hmm. uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, right? They're re- they're making a live action version of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, right? Oh Jesus! Here's look Her- up on your iPad. Look it up. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs remake. Look at look, look it up. Look at for the um the dwarves. Yes. Look at look, look at the dwarves. No, uh, uh. no, no, no. Let him look. Don't let him. No, no, no. Let, let him look. Well, yep, yep. Stay in the bathroom. He got. Just look it up, Andrew. You got a picture? He's still typing. <laughs> yeah, he's going for it. <laughs> you got me to type? Hold on. Just go to images. I'm on. Yeah, I'm on images. Okay. First of all, Snow White is a little bit ugly. Well, okay. first off, Snow White's Hispanic. Is she now? Okay. Yeah, Snow White's not a white girl. She's Hispanic. Are these Hispanic. the fucking dwarves? Yes, uh, those yeah. are all the dwarves. Hi-ho, hi-hell no. <laughs> They're actually not called dwarves. They're called special people. <laughs> or magic people. <laughs> <laughs> or yes, everyone, or, that's what or the fuck Snow White and the Seven Fairy Tale Creatures. So you got 
Let me see. No, no. You it's... got a dude wearing some weird pants and a weird shirt. We're gonna go. Mid... That's it. I'm coming out, tiny guy. That's it. I'm Long the very tall defender now. No, beard. you're not the very tall defender. I am. I'm no, you're not. And then there's no, a dude not. with a mustache and an afro. Okay, I like to point out. These are not fucking dwarves. No, no, but here's the fun fact. They're trying to be politically correct, right? They yeah. don't want to use dwarves. Yeah. But here's the thing. There are thousands. There are thousands upon thousands, thousands of dwarf actors who are not all white. There are. They are. They, they could be. They could be um, Hispanic or black or black or any color. So basically, you could have still used seven dwarves. And had the same effect that you wanted with the dwarf community. And that's why the dwarf community is pissed. Because they lost six jobs. I know. To I think, this stupid movie. And again, I'm going to go over here and say this. The, the story Snow White takes place in the black forest of Germany. There is no Hispanic people, black people of any such other than white people in the black forest of Germany. Yes. I am sorry. Do not call it Snow White and, at all. You can call it Hispanic White. And <laughs> no. It's because somebody criticized. Because some Hollywood star criticized it. Oh, here's the fun part. So she no longer... So this is not going to have a prince in it. Yeah, it says... So, no prince. Yeah. There will be no prince in this Okay, movie. hold on. Okay. I, I want to say... Hey, hey. What I... How'd you hear this? Um, I I think I hear Walt Disney's ghost. Um, I'm puking. Fun fact: that's actually Walt Disney's story. Yeah, it is a story. It I is. Know. Yeah. So the fact that they're recreating it, Walt Disney's rolling in his grave at the moment. Yep, he is. No, the ghost is just writers. yeah. The ghost Listen, like he wants. To... I have no problem with creating. I, a version like taking and borrowing from an idea of a story and then making it your own. But don't use the same tell for story. Snow White is called Snow White for a reason. She has pale, very pale, white skin in the, sto- in the story. S- S- Snow Her, Hispanic. So it here, makes no sense. So, here, so here's the thing. So, so black? Oh so there's God. no prince. Uh, there's no prince, right? So, okay. That's so, not about the story. So that's not all about the story. So this is basically what they've decided to create, recreate the writing. Snow White is now somebody who's struggling to figure out her identity and what leader she's going oh to be. Oh my gosh, she's oh gay or something. Fucking God. That's that's the is story. That the plot? That's the plot. That's not even Snow, and for Snow the, White. And, for, yeah. and, so and how she doesn't need a man. <laughs> And so everybody can get the image of what's going on. Why not? Josh is relentlessly whacking his head against the wall. The wall, his bed, and he is about to tear his thinning hairline out. Change the stupid title to well, the this strong isn't princess. Isn't so white. God damn it! What the fuck are I know. you doing? But change. But change. I was gonna say. Say, I no, 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 no. I was gonna say, why don't they just change it into? <laughs> no, 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 no. The slightly tanned Latina <laughs> and her seven posse. I was gonna say, no. Do you not have any respect for any traditional stories at all? Oh, and you changed the and you changed the evil queen to the urban queen. Urban queen? Well, you know it's going to be a black woman, right? Well, yeah. God damn it! Get the fuck, get the fuck out of here. Okay. So, uh, so you call Snow Black? Snow Black. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my Snow that's Black my... in a posse in the hood. Black. I would also like to point out that one of the seven dwarfs has been changed from dopey to to, uh, to uh to uh doe eyes. Stone eyes. Stone eyes. Um, Grumpy is no longer called Grumpy. He's called I'm Gay. And I'm proud. Um, I'm gonna fight gay people. <laughs> and Happy. And Happy is called Heroin Bait. Sleepy is out uh, depressing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and Dox the Woman. Josh, hang on. Uh, and Dox the, the Woman. Quiet. Hang on, hang on. Shh. It's a, it's a very lovely moment of Josh whacking his head repeatedly against his bed 
And oh, and uh, what's the? I'm trying to think of all seven dwarves. Uh, but there's but there's a smart guy. Uh, with a retard. That's who he is. That's about. dopey. That's dopey. Is it? That's dopey. Uh, you got Doc, who's a woman. Oh, that's man. the woman. That's the woman. Doc's the woman. I guarantee it. I guarantee fucking tea it. That's the woman. Wait, who's grumpy? Grumpy is probably the midget. <laughs> He has a short temper. He's the only one that he's the same. Yeah, he's of probably he's probably the only the pun. dwarf. <laughs> short temper as the pun. Heroin bait is definitely happy. Um, you're is, just mad. Is, you're mad at me. But my favorite, my favorite skit from George Carlton is, is from George Carlin is when he says that the seven dwarves are all drug addicts. Well, I agree with that statement. That, that's no. the favorite. No, no, no. I didn't agree with the statement that they all have drug problems in yeah. some, some level. Yeah. I, I'm just saying to be fair if this is what you're saying is the actual case. Yes. No, no, no. I'm not even saying it, dude. I'm guessing right. What? Let me look at the picture. Can I see the picture? I will tell you which character is which. Damn. I put the ca- show show John the picture too. Let's see the picture. Oh, hang on. There's a staple stuck to this magnet here. <laughs> <laughs> Not my staple. All right, let me see the picture. You I it. will. I will tell you the characters. Hang on. I have it. to. I have to relook it up. Uh, oh God, damn Come it. on. Is that hard? Yeah. I, I gotta find a better image of the uh, characters here. Yeah. I will. I, I guarantee you, I can name every single character just by looking at one. I'm not, I'm not I also like to point this. out, God is pissed because he set the studio on fire. That I same know. day that they took a picture, the studio was caught on fire. I know. Yeah. I know. Oh, no, it was Walt. God, was like you are. Yeah, that was Walt, yeah, Walt Disney. Walt, Walt Disney. Ghost. God. Yeah. yeah. Walt Disney's ghost is pissed. How dare you do my story? Yeah. Here you go. I think that's them, right? Yes. Yeah, so, so here. Oh my so I'll right. tell you who plays who. So the uh, the dwarf is grumpy. Uh, that's yeah. grumpy. What short? Whatever. Afro is, I bet, dopey. Uh, that's happy. Where are bet I bet the guy in the back sneezy. The woman's doc. The other one is. Whatever's. No, there's. There, I'm trying to think of the other. Yeah, I have two. I have two dwarves. I'm trying to think. Um, you okay. say happy already? I already said happy. Oh, oh, um, uh, um bashful. this guy, bashful. Yes. that's bashful. And the one in the far back is society. Uh, <laughs> no, I knew. Trying to think of who we did. We did. We did happy. We did grumpy. We Sneezy? did dopey. Sneezy. Bashful. bashful. Grumpy. Doc. What's the last dwarf? Yeah, I'm reading the thing. I'm reading through. I'm trying to find the names. I'm trying to think of what the last dwarf is. I'm thinking of um, of the cartoon um, Seven D. They call themselves the Seven Friends. No, no, there's seven friends. Yes, I know. There's seven magical creatures. Oh my god! What's the last dwarf? They're trying to be politically correct. I don't care. What's the last dwarf's name? On second. Sne- um, sneezy, bashful, sleepy. Sleepy. That's sleepy. The one wearing that that one's sleepy. Narcolepsy. Yeah, narcolepsy. There. There he's you nar- go, Andrew. He, that's he, sleepy. I nar- guessed all of the dwarves. He's narky. Yeah. Hey. Dude. That's good. All right. Hey, so so that's the dwarves. So this is going to be a okay. train wreck. Just oh, yeah. Like- nobody cares. Nobody likes it. There's not a single person out there that likes this that likes this idea. I can't understand why. All the the, the entire dwarf community is boycotting this movie. I'm not surprised. Well, yeah, the only move, the only characters they can play is uh, Leprechaun, um, any midget, or uh, any any dwarf. A Christmas elf. A Christmas elf. Uh, no. A no. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only characters they can play. So like, you took seven characters that they could actually play a- away from them. Yep. I'm okay. I think I'm. You're I, all done with that. I'm just what? You're all done with that. I yeah because I'm. I like I'm to point out. The, the, I like to point out the the girl that plays Snow White is demanding more money. Yeah, oh yeah, and she's only doing it for a bag. Obviously. That's going to happen. Yeah. 
She say she say she saying how she was afraid of the last movie. The the last movie made her terrified. Ginger Beard. It terrified her. What well, the original? The, the original scared her because it wait, was wait, all wait. white. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, it, it came out in what year? 1935. And well, she is okay. Eh? And she's terrified. Ew, history. Uh. You see, is they ready for something? I don't think so. I'm about to offend everybody. I don't care. <laughs> there we go. Hit the right, wait, Boo hoo! Boo hoo! You had to be watched the 1935 anime film that takes place in Germany in like the 1400s, and all you see is white people. That's... Boo hoo! Oh yes, I'm. So... Why don't you grow up and realize that the world wasn't the way the world is today? And people just stayed in their own country usually most of the time, unless they were, you know, merchants or traveling salesmen or adventure explorers. Well, let you say all this because I, 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 I don't care. Cause... I don't give a shit if I get canceled. I don't no, 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 one's gonna, no one's gonna fucking cancel you. We're not that popular yet. No, <laughs> I just don't give a shit. I'm sorry. If you're making a, if you're gonna try to destroy a historical thing, I hope to God Germany comes on your ass. I hope to God someone comes up and, you know, says some shit to you. You're hoping... <laughs> well, wait, wait. Are you hoping, um... Um... Well, that's... We'll see, will Germany that comes back? No! I said, hope to God Germany says something to Disney. I hope to God Germany... Because Germany also worked with Disney, too, on multiple things. Oh. Hey. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, sorry, uh, folks. I, I uh, no, don't God, even bother. I hope to God Germany, uh, fucking... Disney gets, rises from his grave and starts eating people. <laughs> a zombie. <laughs> yeah. Zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Uh, one eye supports the zombie apocalypse. He, I do. He only, the water he starts it right now. He 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 only, he only eats stupid brains. And that's how <laughs> That's always funny. Yeah. I gotta be honest with you. That was a that was a good that was a good that was a good log thing. I really wanted to see his reaction. It made me it made me laugh. Mm. Oh, One eye's reaction. That was funny. Whose reaction? His? Yes, yeah, his reaction. Right. His reaction was priceless. Whacking his head against the, the wall and the bed, disappearing in the bathroom twice. It was phenomenal. All right, so let's start. Let's start one of the uh, things. Um, Ginger Bear, you saw a movie this this weekend? Uh-huh. Yeah, I saw, I saw it with my nephew. All right. But at the end, yet... Let's leave the, the theater because it's going to be scary. Um, really? Oh, yeah. Um, the, movie, well, the movie I saw was um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Uh, it's it's this, it's this um, new and um, a quote-unquote a quote, quote, mo- modern take on, on the, um, the series. Um, like, uh-huh. Well, so... All of the, the turtles are like, well, they're, well, well they are literally um, teens. Like, like. Which I actually, I actually like that part about this movie. Yeah, yeah, I do. Like, also, like, that's a good thing about it. Um, I just give your grade before you start ripping it, till we understand why. Seven. A seven, so a C. So it's passable. Yeah, it's, it's passable. Pa- yeah, it's passable, but there's definitely something wrong. Oh yeah. Um, All right, continue. I feel like the um like um all the 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 the, the, the references to um what's what's wrong in our. Society. Well, it's like, a Seth Rogen movie, so. Well, yeah. It, Listen, God, sorry. No, no, you, you yeah. go, you go. I love Seth Rogen, but he has gone way too I used to love way, him. way too fast. And listen, to my fellow Jews out there real quick, <laughs> stop becoming woke. They don't get two shits about us. They don't care. Or Canadian. Well, he's, Cal- he's from California, so don't, don't, have, yeah, don't bother. Did, well, they don't, well, they don't well, care. Originally, originally, he's Canadian. Did you know that? Yes, well, then that makes a lot of sense. Well, yeah, because they're liberal. The boots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. When I saw the trailer, I I like I like the turtles. 
I liked the voices. They were very, like, they were interesting. Donatello had to grow on me. I saw a couple more scenes of it. I was like, okay, fine. Uh, I get what you're going for. They really swapped the Why? Uh, d- d- no. Here's my problem with it. If you're going to race swap April O'Neil, then I don't care that China hates it. Why is it that the toys in China are she's white? <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I didn't say shit. No, no, there's and they apparently are in the United States. What the, the China toys? Yes, the China version TMNT toys were shipped also to the States. So they got an African American April O'Neil, and then next to it they have the white version. Yeah, wait, hold on. Um, I'll be honest. Well, the white version is fat. Well, yeah. What? They're they're both fat. So. Well, well yeah, they're kind of the same except. Yeah. The, the, the skin. Color. And the hair, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, topic. Um. Oh no no, we're we're yeah. already on it. Yeah, but I'm talking after all this. All right, fine. We got, but we're already on it. So continue. Okay. Um. How was the? Uh, how? No, were, I was oh. going to. No, Story wise. Let Story-wise. me speak. My God. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I'm asking questions. I was asking a question too. How was the story wise? I'm just tr- you. I'm trying. I'm trying to get on topic about the toys. Oh. Oh. Okay. My Go God. Bad. Let me speak about the toys. Okay. The toys um, are. I guess it 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 can be a little racist, but. On the other hand, it's 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 actually true to the well, the source of material. Well, the April is fat. I don't remember April being fat in the well, source material. Well, well, that's um, that's different. He's talking about the turtles and the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're talking about the turtles? Like, I'm, the, 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 I'm, talking about, I'm talking about April. The skin, toy, no. Oh, wait. I mean the old. I mean, if you read the old comic books, she's she has dark hair only. She doesn't really have any features. Whether they like, tell her if she's white or black, I mean, it's. I mean, the comic book itself is all black and white, so oh, you yeah, really sure. don't know. You really don't know anything else until like the eighties cartoon. And uh, well, I mean, I, which I believe the, the the creator of the comic book worked directly well, worked directly with the eighties cartoon. Somewhat so so. He designed the characters for the '80s cartoon, and then he wrote some of the stories. But he didn't write all of it. That's like right. all of it was written by other writers and directors. But let's go on to it. So to um, go off to go back to the movie. Okay. What yeah. was the? How would you grade the story? The story, it's, it's um, I give it, I give it an eight. Okay. Okay. Because you know it's about um. Um, teens, who, yeah, who, who are well, not human, who yeah. are who are hiding from the outside world because well, I, society is not ready. What's it like? I got a coming of age story, but for like yeah. mutants. That's how I. It kind of reminds me of Cher. Yeah, that's how I took it. Coming she of kinda age. Reminds me of Cher. I see it. Or wait, or uh, I mean, that's hot. Yeah, she is hot. But man. show um, uh, isn't that like share? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to think about her, but okay. thank you, John. Thank you, what I. All right, all right. <laughs> no, so uh, I, I, I thought it was a coming of age story when I saw the trailer. It kind of is, yeah. yeah. Um, definitely share. Um, okay, okay, no, sorry, my okay. Bad. Sorry. God, like, Damn. Be the point. Do you believe in life? Dude, okay. you need to take pills, dude, because this is getting ridiculous. What? The same. Adderall. <laughs> No, it's like he says, like I'm not taking my pills anymore. It's like okay, that's fine. No, it, I'm just saying definite share. Geez. Okay, okay, okay. Continue about the villains in there. Um, like on the villains. Well, I know Ice T is in it. No, no, not Ice T. Ice, ice Cube. Cube. Ice. Ice. Oh, oh, raw guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Raw Ice T. Raw Raw Ice. The raw Ice guy. Raw Ice guy. Ice Cube. Well, so yeah. Um. Well, so Ice the Cube. Um, well, so he plays the, 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 the big, um, like... Bad. Well, bad, yeah. yeah. But he's, he is well, the head 
uh, well, not the head. I'm like he, he is the, the leader of a gang of um, misfits who are mutants. Yeah. Who are mutants? Yeah, yeah. and which is um, which is understandable, you know, because is can I ask a question? Sure. Is um, because I think I saw them. Is is Rocksteady and Bebop in it? Yeah. Oh no! Wait, is it Boom? Wait, is it Boomstick? No, no. Bebop Rocksteady and Bebop. Are okay, right. okay. I was, yeah, yeah. I, I was, I forgot. There, I'm, I'm confusing the names. Except, for, except for Rogan plays. Um, of course, the pig. Of well, course he does. After I mean, of course. I mean, after you play the. What? I'm not making it racist. What the hell? No, I just can't believe you played the pig. I actually see it. Hey, hey, you played, the, you played, the pig in, in the live action. Well, well, no live action. Um, what's the guy? Um, Lion King movie. Well, yeah, so. the warthog. <laughs> yeah, actually, didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Am I? Can never mind. I'm not gonna say it. Well, well. Anyway, um, I was gonna say, is it self hating because? He's eating pigs because he's Jewish, and now he feels that he oh has to. <laughs> he has to I be never, a pig. Now, once in my life, I eating a pig and thought I had to play a pig in a movie. Now, I don't know. I just thought that it was self hating. Probably, that? I don't know. A self hating Jackie Chan is in it, which I was actually excited for because he plays Splinter. Yes, I did like that. I actually did like that, and I actually thought it was funny when. Um, when uh, one of the boys, his name is Michelangelo, says, uh, he's, what was it? Um, uh, something about rat. And then oh, he, he rat in the mouth. He rat is like, hey, do not lose that one. What, what that way? Or, or yeah, like that, you know? I mean, Jesus Christ, dude. It's like 21st it's century. <laughs> he's like, come on. He's I'm sorry. Rat. I love <laughs> the fact that Jay Chan's in it because I'm a huge Jay Chan fan. I think we all are. I think we all are. Who, yeah. Who, who isn't? You know? And I haven't seen him in, in any movies lately except for Chinese ones. Yeah, yeah. But I actually like him as Master Splinter. Not because of anything. I'm just saying that one. No, it, it was, he does a really good job. Well, he plays a good father role. Yeah. Well, well yeah. You see, Splinter in this, this one is... He's he is like more dad well, than a sensei. Well, yeah, he plays father really well. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, you know. I, well, also, you got you're dealing with like teenagers, so naturally they they mm-hmm. seem to me. I thought they were like twelve, yeah. thirteen. That's what or fourteen. Like that's what they're going I think, for. I think uh, they're fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Donatello definitely seems younger. Oh yeah, like he hasn't voice hit- wise. He hasn't hit puberty um, yet. Puberty yet. Yeah. So, so I figured he was like 13. Michelangelo and Donatello were 13. Raphael and Le- Leonardo were t- like 14. That's how I figured. Well, um. Because yeah. Le- Leonardo and Raphael always seem to be the older ones, mm-hmm. the older brothers. Well, yeah, I guess um, it depends on who was like um, the first or yeah. a second at the hatch, you know what I mean? What was that? That was Your the. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, but Raph. No, but I like the. Uh, I, I, I thought from the trailers they they seemed fine. Everything seemed great. Yeah, I didn't because they haven't shown any of the bad guys. So you you're kind of like yeah, I don't know how they play. So how would you grade the bad guys? Um, let's see. Um, like out of ten, as in how much? How much you like them? Like, did you like them? Was there one that you just kind of like, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could live without? Well, oh, there's um, well, Leatherhead. Leatherhead? Oh, oh. They made him in, well. well Who's Leatherhead? Leatherhead was from the movie. A, 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 a crocodile? Oh. Oh, I thought he was the turtle. Um, are you thinking of, um, Slash? Oh, yeah. No, sorry. My fault. Yeah, Slash. Which, I wish he was in there. But, I wish yeah. that too. There was a rhinoceros that was in there. That was that's Rocksteady. That's yeah, Rocksteady. Rocksteady and Bebop, which they're both in. <laughs> hey Rachel, uh, I need to scoot up. I, I can't. All right, whatever. My uh, you got through fine. Mm. Well, so um, he's very handy. I'll bet. Hello. Okay. No buts. <laughs> anyway, um, all right. Well, so um, well, so yeah. The, well, Rocksteady, isn't it? Um, Leatherhead, 
the with the um um crocodile you see in this one he's not as like badass as like in the other um like in in incarnations you know yeah. like he's he's more of uh well I would say this is a dork yeah I would say this is more for children better than anything. That's why I said I'm waiting to see it on Paramount Plus. If so, I want to watch it, I'm gonna like I'm just waiting to see it on Paramount. It's it's um it's it's an it's an entertaining. But like, it's not something that like you would see again. Well, <laughs> like like only well two times. Like but two yeah. the show it with um I watch it with um friends or. Or high, I don't know. Like, yeah, just, I'm not. Yeah, all right, all right. So that, all right. I think that's a good stop. Oh, well, wait. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about. So, you said about how would you rate the villains in there? Yeah. Um, six. Six. Okay. Well, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. Well, that's yeah, Bailey in college terms. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, sure it is. Like, and I wish um, I really have Shredder in it. Well, then, I would prefer. Oh, that's, that's a Foot Clan too. Yeah, that's what a lot of people have been saying. I've read it online. It's like a lot of people have said they would rather have the Foot Clan. They'd rather have Shredder. It just because that's the villains. That's of, their big bad villain. Yeah. Instead, instead, would they have a group of like street kids? I mean, either that or um, Stockman. Well, Stockman. Stock or uh, Stock? Is it Stockman or Stockman? It's like. Stack. It's Stockman. Stockman. The back, the back Stockman. I would have preferred if you're gonna do a villain for the first time. I would have preferred Baxter Stockman, and then at the end have the Shredder be like the guy who, you know, Working. gave the money yeah. to him. Yeah. Well, well, um, and uh, I'm trying to. Oh God, I'm trying to say. Uh, oh, um, well, particularly Stockman is in it, but okay. just not not in. Like, it's more of his um. He created a fly mutant. Oh yeah, the Ice Cube character. Yeah, yeah, and well, also in a way, um, he he is he is Stockman, which yeah. is like, but he's also he's not Stockman. And yeah. you get this, um, Ice Cube, the villain. I'm saying is, oh my god, his his name is uh, his name is Superfly, well, well Superfly, which is I mean. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Let's super fly. <laughs> That's stupid. Well, well retarded. Eddie, do you have any comment on that? Let's super he fly. He doesn't even want to comment. He's like, That's no, retarded. Dumb. That's just dumb. Okay. Man, retarded. That's how you know it's for kids. Yes. <laughs> well, well, there's a lot of sw- sw- swearing in there. Well, Wait, which, what? Yeah, a lot, a lot of swearing, and and. Like what kind of swearing? Bearing, like is there oh, dams just, or is there like there's hooks? there's there's dams, hells. I I think I heard I heard a crap in there. Uh, what are we swearing? I mean, those are Bears. those are called the, we call the uh, what we call in the community. Those are called children swears. swears. Yeah, yeah. Teenager swears, swears become you know, fuck, fuck shit. shit. Bitch. Bullshit. You know, that's when you have teenager swears. And then for the adults, fuck. <laughs> Just we all throughout. Fuck at age. I've heard people I say know. fuck at age 10. I've been cursed out by a four year old before. Well, there I mean, you I've go. been cursed out by a four year old. I mean, John's cousin seems like he's going to be on the road to that. Oh, nephew. Yeah. He's, uh, you mean nephew? Yeah, nephew. I've seen a middle schooler give a Nazi salute before. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, no. So. Hey, this one needs to get beat up by some Jews, that's what I'm saying. So, so wait. So, <laughs> so wait. So you're. So you went with your nephew. Did you go with your sister or. I went with. Um, I went with my nephew, their mom, and my second, the, the cousin. Okay. He's like, my second, the cousin's like, you see anything? Okay. So, um. And how do they like the movie? Um, well, I know. Well, mom, I know your nephew had to leave. Well, yeah, because it, it's even scary when, um, a super fly, I'm sorry, I can't even listen. Super fly for a fly guy. <laughs> I was hoping you beat me to it. 
<laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, so did he ride a low rider too? Um, <laughs> I think he did. And <laughs> I guess he blasting Easy's um, Boys in the Hood. <laughs> No, I don't think so. no, no, it's, it's, uh, no, it's ice. No, it's gotta be. Uh, if it's Ice Cube, it's gotta be two songs. And fuck the no, police. no, straight out count or it, fuck the police. No, no, no straight out the um, no, straight out the mutant community. Oh dear sure, God, no, they didn't. No, they, no, didn't no, they, they didn't. They didn't ruin straight out count by on. straight out mutant. They could have, but well, oh. no. Well, thank God. It's, okay, it I was is. gonna say, but if they're gonna use Ice Cube song, it's either straight out Compton or fuck the. Well, it couldn't be fuck the police. You can do fuck the police, you know. Yeah. No, no. Be, oh, no. You see, in, in this case, be fuck with the humans because yeah, he we, is yeah. a. Yeah. And you see, well, Superfly is a massive anti. Human, like, well, I mean, yeah, his dad was Stockman, so I mean, he has every right to hate humans. He, and and they killed him off. They, they what? Killed Stock- they killed Superfly off? I know Stockman. Oh, well, he's not. He's never dead. True. Yeah. Oh, well, well, just well, comes well, back think, stronger. Well, I think it was Superfly and more powerful than yeah. ever. <laughs> I think it was. I think it was Superfly was created to, to um like film a spy, you know. So that no. Sorry. Yeah, I, sorry. That's stupid. It That's is. Too yeah. Stupid. <laughs> it is I stupid. will never. I, I will never. I will never not. If my kid comes home and says, "Dad, I want the super fly," I'm like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> like, what the fuck am I looking? You remember that time when Uncle Johnny? Yeah. You should. You should. You should the picture. Of what? Is that Stockman? No, it's super fly. It's uh, uh, Stockman's kid. Like. Okay, what? He has a kid now? <laughs> all right, so... Um, okay, well... Um, uh, all right. Uh, so, well, so, my nephew... Um, he, cause he was scared because... Um, Did he come back? I was, what? Did he come back to the movie, or was he gone? Like, gone? No, he was gone. Um, this okay. Largo was scared. Um, yeah, Largo was scared. Yeah. Well, he's, he's four years old. Uh, I mean, he has every right to be scared. Yeah, no, yeah. four-year-old watching that movie, I would be scared, too. Hell, hell. I was scared of the whole of, of how it's going to go. You were scared. I was scared. I was scared. It was going to be awful. But, but oh, all right. No. I mean, it was kind of awful. Yeah, it wasn't it, great. It, it, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been. It could have been. Th- no, dude, it could have been a thousand times worse. Oh, still, um, I I do like that one clip that I see on uh, YouTube or uh, Twitter where it was like uh, they're in the school. And Michael L- and Michael L- is like, oh my god, they they have some kind of like club. I gotta sign up for it. It's like, what are you doing? We don't go to this school. He's like, what's our last name? I never thought of that. He's like, he's like, oh, I'll just break it up. Michael Angelo. Hey, I'm Michael Angelo. And he's like, that makes you Leonardo. I was like, I was like, no, it can't be Leonardo. Wait, no, yeah, really Nardo. Nardo. <laughs> He's like, hey, Nardo's sensitive. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, uh, get back. To, so I was like, that, was... that's why that, that made me laugh because I was Dude, like, I enjoy the had team. A few laughs, like, I enjoy the turtles. Yeah. I'll say that. I, I enjoy the turtles. I, will I watch this and be like super impressed? Probably not. Uh, I watch it for the turtles. I'm gonna watch it only for the turtles. That's pretty much I probably it. I won't watch it at all. Well, you're 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 a heartless person. You, you like shit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, Blue Beetle next. No, no, no. I, oh, I'm he sorry. Did he, he let me? Sorry. I finished. Like so. Well, well, the reason why my nephew um had to go out is because um uh, spoilers, I guess. Um, was it? Yeah, we don't care. Yeah, it was Superfly. He turned into a a a um a giant. Mutant, um, the, the kaiju with a lot of sharp teeth and like. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, I yeah, now yeah. understand why. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So, I, I get it now. Yeah, that was scary. For him, did the like, start crying? No, I think he just screamed and like. No, oh, no, oh, no, I didn't scream. Oh. My mom was like, like, my mom whispered to me, "I'm going to go. I'm going to take him out." It, 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 that's a little scary for him. Like, it's getting intense. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I get it, yeah. Can I have a question? Sure. Was was he shaking? Or, or was, was he just, like, uh, intensely looking at the trail? Like, was he enjoying I it? I, 
I was looking at him. I was looking at Oh, I was going to say, so. because I, when I was Largo's age, actually younger, I was three, I saw the mummy. Mummy, huh? Yeah, with my parents. And my father thought I would sleep through the whole thing. And when the mummy scenes come on, you know, the scary mummy, like, you know, all that stuff. My dad trying to cover my eyes, and I'm like this. No, I want to watch this. <laughs> Five years old, the alien. Yeah. Uh, so I think I was, I think I was a little scaredy cat as a kid. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, like, sometimes kids when they don't make a noise, it's because they're like intensely like watching the colors in the screen. Oh. But maybe Largo was scared. I don't know. I wasn't there. Uh, hey, I, I was scared of um. Well, the, um, the gorillas in uh, um, um, Tarzan. Okay. The, the anime movie. Yeah. Interesting. All okay. right, so we good on that one then? Yeah, we're good on that story. All right, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that's I think it's good. You did a pretty good review. Yeah. I like what I heard. Okay, so let's move on to Oppenheimer. 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 Often. Wait, what? <laughs> Up in Heisenberg. It's off at Heimer. Yeah. Okay. Heimer. Okay. It was. It was good. It was I long, did. but it was. It was good. I well, like, I actually of thought. Long. It's history. You know, like, well, you know, I actually, like, I actually thought it was going to be about because the the entire trailers mislead you right away. They think it's going to be about the atomic bomb only. Yeah. Like yeah. they mislead you the entire time. Yeah. It's like yeah, they did. They did. They they, okay. they 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 make you believe it's the atomic bomb only. When in reality, it's actually the entire story oh, of Oppenheimer yeah. and behind everything. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. um, was there any um like what did they um show the bomb? They hitting? showed one. Yeah. They showed they showed one scene, which yeah. was the test scene hitting, for the bomb, yeah. which was actually. It was impressive. It was really cool. It's a real. It's yeah. an actual explosion, like a real explosion. But it would be a thousand times bigger. Or in real life. And it would make the whole night sky turn light. light. Right. Yeah. I mean, like light. Like it's also like, the, the distance they were at in real life would not have stopped the bomb. It would, they would have died in real life. Oh yeah, where the distances where they were standing. Yeah. And like there were people in a car that would have been vaporized if it was real. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so they would have all been dead. There was some things that were kind of thing, but throughout the entire story, it was actually fairly interesting to like listen to. Like um, Robert Downey Jr.'s in it. Oh yeah, uh, his character can go eat dick. His character can go eat dick. Yeah, yeah his character sucked. Who he played? Uh, he played the guy, um, the uh, Doctor Doctor, Strauss. Doctor Strauss, who is intently trying to go after Offenheimer because Offenheimer embarrassed him in a uh, court hearing session. No. I- yeah, he embarrassed him, basically. In, in, a, a, like a, in uh, a nuclear arms session. Hearing. Yeah. yeah, hearing. He embarrassed him really badly. Also, he thought Offenheimer made fun of him or said something about him to Einstein, which made Einstein not like him. Um, that's what you first get in the first scene. Uh, it was... I, I'm i going to do the grades first, like we always do. Yeah. So, yeah. I grade this movie... 8.5 out nine. of 10. Nine, huh? You yeah. go nine? I'm going nine. So, I liked it a lot. All right. I'm going to say between eight and a half and nine. I'm going to say right in So between. just pick one. 8.5? Uh, yeah. 8.5. 8. Oh, because because you mentioned it's not, it's, it's not about the bomb. Like, no, I no, it's, but it's... I think it misled you. It misled, it, it misled you, but it was but it wasn't as bad, and it was really more. And you really were interested after you started watching it. Uh, Oppenheimer is a fucking like a uh, ladies is a, a ladies man. Yeah. Uh, sleeps with a lot of people. There is sex in, in the movie. Oh movie. yeah, there is like straight up sex, nudity. Um, Titties. What you find out is that Oppenheimer slept with his best friend's wife while they were still married. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, he got her pregnant. Got her pregnant. Um, God, Oppenheimer, come on. <laughs> uh, he had a affair and a mistress with a woman who ends up killing herself. So, because well, he was him. dating her before he... I know, I know, yeah. but but she ends up killing herself because uh, she's... Um, Crazy? Yeah. Also a communist. Well, yeah, most of the people that we it deal was, with. It was mostly about communists. Yeah, well, most communists of the people that you're dealing with are Obama. communism, whereas Offenheimer is not a communist himself. No. But even though they kept saying he was. He wasn't, though. Yeah. Because Offenheimer does not at all scream communist. 
If you actually look at, if you actually he was read never the book, a communist. He just worked. He oh, just God. worked alongside them. He also used them to give money, money to, to Spanish people, re- yeah. refugees. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is actually really nice. I have a question. What you think? Um, the movie would be um aired in Japan. Probably. Yes, it was aired in Japan. Uh, do you th- do I think Japanese people liked it? Probably not. They did. Oh, all right, never mind. Because that was when... They, they, they did like it. Gone. Japan does not hold anything against us. As much as you... Re- a lot of people don't think that. Not even Hiroshima and Nagasaki hold it against us. Yeah, because that was when... They, they realized they fucked up. They're like... Okay. They're, sorry, what are you saying? What are you saying, dude? Sorry. Yeah, because that's when... Because after we got rid of the regime, a whole new government stepped in and they wanted to work with us. Yeah. So... No, I mean, it's not an emperor. It's just, he's a figurehead. He's always been a figurehead ever since mm-hmm. then. Because we do joint operations with them in the yeah. Pacific. No, but... Because they sail on our ships. Yeah, no, but I... I was impressed. I had no idea. Both my father and me... My father basically said, I had no idea they were going after Offenheimer the way that they did, how they did it, and I... Such a backhand. I hated it so much. I, I was, like, so pissed. I... And I really felt... I don't want to spoil it for John, because I think John would want to see it. Right. So. I, I wanted to see a... I wanted to see at least a... Sh- like, a scene of the dropping of the bombs on one no, of the... No, I didn't want to. I, I wanted to see a little bit. I mean, he could just show them the flying over, and that would have been it. You know, like, little I, boy yeah, or big I boy. Get it. I get it, but I didn't really want yeah. to. The other thing I did not like is the scene with uh, um, Truman, Trey, Harry S. Truman, where uh, he goes, "Get that, don't let that sissy boy back in here." I'm like, he's not a sissy. First off, um, I've read Truman's memoirs, and my grandfather has told me a lot of things. Truman, for the rest of his life after the, the dropping of the atomic bomb, lived with the guilt of basically killing billions of people. Or millions of people, people. Yeah. But his entire life. Also opening up the door to the nuclear age. Like he... The nuclear like, arms race. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Truman felt that guilt. In the scene, Offenheimer reveals that he feels guilty. That he doesn't feel good about it. And Truman... I understand why Truman would say it. It's because the man who made the bomb, who you think would be for it all gun ho is now guilty and is like basically telling you this i could see you getting upset yeah because you're like i'm the one who fucking told them to drop it it. like and kill all those people and you're sitting here thinking you're you're no better yeah so that's why i was like i understand why truman might felt yeah, he's Insulted. saying, you built it, I, I released it onto the world. Yeah, I'm the one who fucking did that. So, like, I understand Truman being a little upset in that moment and maybe saying those words. What's those, uh, what's those words? Sorry. Um, yeah. What's those, what's those words said at himself? I mean, he's taking it yeah. out. I yeah, know. yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah, and it's also, like, how would you feel if you were in Truman's shoes? Like, there's no easy decision. There's no win you, you, there's no easy. There's no win. Japan it's either attack. it's either I kill a million Japanese people or I let United States soldiers die in the millions and maybe Russian soldiers too. Oh my god! No, yeah. well, the, other, the, the other option was this: it was either ki- um, kill a million Japanese people yeah. or invade mainland Japan. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's why I said. Which will kill will be yeah, yes, million yes, casualties yes, and yes, American yes, casualties. Yes, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. That's why I said. Yeah. That kind of reminds me of that, um, um, Steen and, um, The Watchmen. Yeah. When, uh, oh my god, when, um, what's his name? Um, Rorschach? No, Amadeus. Oh, yeah, him. Um, yeah. he, he destroyed, he destroyed half of the, of the world to, um, you know, um, David. Which well, is. Well, yeah, but, like, that. That reminds me of it, but in a negative way. Whereas this one is more of like there really is no other. Way. There really is no choice. I could because if I don't do it, and it comes out that we had the bomb that could end the war quicker, and American lives would have been saved, then I will be run out of Dodge like a fucking off. Yeah, Carol. he'd be. He probably would have been impeached. Yeah. Most likely, and also like 
another thing about it is like John in the Pacific theater, it was horrible because not just Japanese soldiers commit suicide, but Japanese civilians like jumped off cliffs. Yes. They would not surrender. They they committed mass suicide. A woman jumped off. A woman ran in front of a tank with her baby. She didn't want to get. She didn't want to be taken alive, and her, neither with her baby. And she murdered herself and her baby. Uh, I know uh, one story from. There was one where a flame a guy had a flamethrower, and the they just kept running into his flamethrower. No, they there was one story wait, wait. of a family. It was in Okinawa. They went to the top of the cliff, and uh, one by one, uh, they pushed their children off to the cliff to the rocks below, and then. Uh, the, jumped. The, then jumped. The husband was the only one that survived because he fell and broke his leg and landed on a cliff. Landed on a cliff below. Okay. Um. Well, so. Okay, I missed a detail. I think. Um, yeah. Well, so why were Japanese? Are trying to kill themselves? Because, because they, they are, that in in Japan in feudal Japan, they live by a system that basically they says they will not surrender. They would rather die. The and they take it super seriously it, to the point where if you don't commit suicide, you have dishonored your family. Oh, it's, by the way, it was Imperial Japan. No. Well, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Said, he said feudal. Whatever. Feudal. Whatever. I don't care. It's an old way of thinking yeah, it was, from the feudal age. It's Fuku. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah, Fuku. Yeah, Fuku too. Yeah. yeah. It's the old way of thinking from the feudal days. Yeah. And this is what the American soldiers were dealing with. That's why I said, John, when someone commits suicide, it fucks your brain up. Including when it's right in front of Uh, you. Yeah, I mean, like, when they want to die in front of you, it fucks your brain up. Because you're like... And there's no way that, uh... Sorry, you were saying, yeah, it fucks your brain up. Yeah, just, like, no. But that's why I said, like, that's that's what Truman was facing, that decision. Either I end the war now, or I let millions upon millions of people die, plus our own troops die. Which would not end the war fast enough. So he took the chance. He basically said, I'm going to drop the bomb. And like I said, I don't know. I I know for a fact that Offenheimer and all those people, I guarantee you, they told you, this is how destructive it's going to be. It's basically going to just fucking, we don't know how powerful it will be, but it will annihilate everything in a, in its distance. One of the most powerful scenes for me in the movie, personally, was when he was giving the speech after the bomb got dropped in Nagasaki and Hiroshima mm-hmm. at the base. And all those people are clapping. And it's just a deafening silence for him. Yeah. And all he, But he's witnessing, like, as well as mm-hmm. seeing him as this. But he's also seeing it as if the bomb was dropped right there and what would happen to everybody. Yeah. Well, yeah. But my favorite my favorite scene, in it's in the trailer, is when... Um, I forget who says it, but I think it's in the trailer. Is that... um. Not only, what was it? It was, uh, you just showed them how to... Destroy themselves. Annihilate themselves. And like he, uh, and in that scene where he and, uh, um... Einstein? Einstein are talking and he says to Einstein, he's like, um, I destroyed the world. I didn't do it in the way that we were talking about. I destroyed the world. Oh. I invented something that will end us all. Yeah. And that's why, like, when Einstein walks away to um, Strauss, he has that grim look on his face. I am become death. Yes, I have become the destroyer of world death. And, man, I, like, and that's why, like, I felt so bad. But that's why, like, my theory is the reason why he wasn't fighting in the, um, in that hearing that he was having. Like, his wife was saying, why won't you fight? It's because he's punishing himself. himself. He, does, he feels like... He has this immense amount of guilt that he can't... Like, like no one understands why he's letting it happen. It's because, like, he wants it to happen. He's like, I need to be punished. And the fact that I brought it back to some Jew- Jewish teachings my grandfather told me yeah. that he is, in a way, sitting Shiva for thousands of people. Millions. Millions of people that he killed. Yeah. He 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 feels so much good, like I deserve this. Yeah. Whether or not I directly led it to their death, well, he I did deserve- directly lead to. Their well, death. yeah. Whether or not I'm what they put me on trial for is true. Yeah. I deserve to be punished. Yeah. And that's what I'm gonna do. Oh I'm gonna man! Sit back and take oh it. man! Was it like it is one of my? It is one of the best movies that I think I've ever seen. And Christopher Nolan is my favorite director. Oh, of he's all time. Like, he's he, one of my favorite directors. Same. 
I still hate that <laughs> the Barbie m- movie made more money than this. Oh, everyone hates this. Yeah, I, yeah. that was bullshit. I agree. No, but man, Christopher mm-hmm. Nolan knocked this one out of the park. I mean, it was such a phenomenal movie. Like one of the best movies I think I've ever seen. I've like, like I said, I've never heard this story. Like it was fascinating to like watch. Oh yeah. And I, I thought Robert Downey Jr. What a performance of uh, ages to really make himself look like basically <laughs> saying like I'm the dick. He made I, himself look like a true dickhead. Yeah, My I mean, favorite <laughs> moment in the entire movie is this line. Two lines. Two scenes, okay? Uh, is when he's like, another person's against you, I'm becoming a senator. Who? New senator from, from this... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Trotta, yeah. What's his name? Trotta Candy. <laughs> Shit. And then, the name drop. <laughs> and, then, and then the other scene is this. is the very end. It says, they, you're not becoming senator. And he says, did you ever... Was that that he was becoming senator was that he wasn't going to be in the... Um, President's uh, cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. And then he says to him, "Did you ever turn to you, Mr. Strauss, that they weren't even talking about you on that day at all? That you weren't the subject of the matter at all?" Nope, never did. And that's the in the door slams. Yeah, I know, but that look on his face of realization that he probably fucked up. Yeah. But I just love, I just love that John F. Kennedy. He even says John F. Kennedy doesn't like how you handled the Offenheimer thing. And I'm like, you go, fucking Kennedy. Kennedy you go, go boy. Do <laughs> you get him? I laughed at that scene. Both me and my dad laughed at that scene because that was the funniest like name drop I've ever heard. Me too. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I, you know, you can see we. Uh, I would, um, if you wanted to watch it, John, I would watch it with you. I think it's a good movie. I would to watch. watch it with you too. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 When it comes out, yeah. I'll... I would watch it on um. Uh, Paramount is it Paramount. I mean, it's Paramount or it would be Max one of the two. I think it's, I think it's Max. It's I think Max. It's Max. Max. It's Warner Brothers. Yeah, Max. Yeah, uh, uh, Christopher Nolan. Nolan. Yeah. Oh no, man. Oh, he's great. I, I, just a phenomenal movie. I mean, my God. The just the I'm sorry. The scenery, scenery the sound, the the ambiance. The Everything acting, was it was so fucking good. I mean, he's just the greatest director. I think of the. He's like, uh, you know, um. He's basically Hitchcock. He's like Kubrick. Yeah, Kubrick and Hitchcock. Yeah, like, all rolled in one. Yeah, I mean, my God. That's Spielberg. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's one of the greatest directors, I think, right now in the in this era. I agree. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I was like, oh, man, he is one of the best. And I, I, I love the fact about his wife. You remember, he said there was one of your scenes, too, and then she's, at, well, she's on trial. And oh, yeah. I love that moment where she's just she just won't give any... He anything. won't give her any leeway. <laughs> and then, oh, Andrew, didn't you like the wife where she wouldn't shake the guy's hand when he's like, oh, trying to Oh, yeah, that was cold. She, she just I was waiting for her to spit so on her. Cold. I was waiting for her to spit. I was like... <laughs> She was so cold. Yeah. Oh man, that was a great. Oh, that was great movies. Uh, I like that. That was a good movie. Um, oh, we're not gonna talk about the Barbie movie if you guys. Want no, 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 no one cares. I hate it. I, <laughs> um, I, I want to go. We all said that we would want to go just to see how quickly it would be before we get thrown out. I'm gonna go five minutes. I hate. We would have all minutes. get thrown out. No. Yeah. I never saw a movie. Thank God. I feel like I'm, I'm worried. I'm, I might have liked it. Because of Gosling? Yeah. Oh, well, apparently someone liked it so much that they broke up with their girlfriend over it, so. And plus, and plus, <laughs> I mean, come on. It's Margot Robbie. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like yeah, Margot you know Robbie. what? You know what? Yeah, Gingerbread, you're right. We should let a whore teach our girl how to make, how, how to be real women. Exactly. <laughs> That's accurate. <laughs> that, 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 that's... Okay, so the next movie we were, we're going to review is Haunted Mansion. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We all saw it together. Um, I'm going to go out and say it. Six. Seven. Seven. Okay. Uh, I thought it was fine. I thought it was like... It was like it's an entertaining movie. It's yeah. fine. Mm-hmm. It's hilarious. It's hilarious, but it just, like... No. Nah. I, I couldn't deal with the CGI. The ghosts didn't look real to me. And I'm talking about the old high mansion where it looked real. It felt real. Yeah. It felt like you're in the world. Compared to this one, it was like, eh. 
It kind of took me out. Whenever they were in there, it's like, this takes me out. Hmm. I don't like it. Yeah. Hmm. It's fun, but it's like, it's that kid movie where you're kind of like, eh. It's good. It's just not. Like, I wouldn't watch it again. I probably won't watch, I mean, unless I have kids, I probably won't watch this again. Would and I would show again? them the original Eddie Murphy oh, one. Oh, yeah, I first. love the original one, too. I love it I would so rather, much. I would rather show them the original Eddie Murphy one before I show them this one. Yeah. I thought the acting was fine, too. I thought it was, you know, the acting was decent. I, it's just, I think the original one was scarier, too. The original it was. One, oh, yeah. No, the part was. that I remember getting scared of, that's all with my grandma and uncle when I were just it, was when she's like, where the, where the, in the original one where he's like, damn you all to hell, and then that thing opens up, I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, no, that was. There are many of you blowing up. Yes, yeah. that's that's playing the edge. That's no, not but that's funny. Yeah, you blew it up, right? Yeah, no, so, no. but I liked the. Uh, you know, I liked it. It was fine. Um, I thought the funniest scene to me was um uh, uh shit um. Dan DeVito chair scene? Dan, yeah, the Dan DeVito chair. Andrew, you would love this scene. Dan DeVito is just like, he runs into the house be like, how dare you steal my stuff? And then, like, gets immediately thrown out of the house. Oh, my shit. Ah! Ah! Help! <laughs> and then, and then he's in the hospital. He's like, so I'm, how did he get thrown out? <coughs> and riding on the back of a chair? Uh, he just we like, have no idea. He's like, we have no idea. He likes riding on chairs. <laughs> hey, look at me. He's in the hospital. But like, <laughs> No, no like chairs. Me no like chairs. Me no like chairs. Me like chairs. Technically, both. Um, so obviously, this one is more like the original ride, ride Disneyland yeah. original ride. And I'll start with that, which is New Orleans. Um, uh, the one from the O was O three, was O four. O four O five. The Eddie Murphy one. Yeah, that one thing. was based hang, in hang Florida. On, hang on. Yeah, yeah he's going to look it up for us. Hang on. The original. O three. 3 Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was O three. 3 Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. And and the new one it came out in... 2023. 20, 20, 3. Yeah, so... 20 years later. 20 years later, yeah. But oh. it was... But here's the funny part. The one in Orlando was based in Florida yeah. because they're traveling to Key West on a vacation... And the Haunted Mansion ride was reformatted to look like the Eddie Murphy Haunted Mansion movie. Yeah. Whereas the Disneyland one stayed the same. It was actual, and um, they showed you, they actually showed pictures, Andrew, of the Disneyland and the Disney World Haunted Mansions, and they were basically identical. And then when they did the Haunted Mansion movie, they decided to customize the Orlando one into look like the actual movie mansion. I also like the... I mean, the, the the ending. That one's actually more popular yeah. than Disneyland. The movie one, yeah. Yeah, the movie one. Yeah, it's more popular. The uh, the the Disney what's it called the the song that plays in the actual ride yeah. plays at the end of the movie, which I do really much love. Yeah. The ghost with the spirit, souls come out or spirits come out and socialize. That yeah. was the good line. Oh, yeah. one. Fun fun fact: Disneyland Disneyland Japan used Orlando's haunted mansion over Disneyland's haunted mansion. I think they would know which one's the better one, Bank of Japan. Yeah, okay. they know exactly which one's better. <laughs> <laughs> they know exactly. They're like, they also have an entire roof that goes over their theme park. I also love the fact that they kept the how the story goes. So if you actually, you, you remember the ride when they when they uh when they when you're about to get off the ride, they say these ghosts will follow you off, you know, until you come back to the haunted mansion. And I actually like how they kept that in the movie. Yeah. They follow you. Yeah, they follow you until you come back. Gotta be honest with you, the one that scared the shit out of me is the old lady without the jaw. Yeah, she. That scared the shit out of me. I was like, I was, I would be honest if that, if that followed me home. I was like, no, oh, hell no. I love the part like I had a ghost horse. You know what it is like to have a ghost horse charging in your one bedroom apartment. <laughs> that was funny. I don't like I I I thought everything was fine. It was all right to me. Um, there's not much I can say. The there there really scary. isn't much I can say. The about mummy it. ghost was the scariest ghost. I'm sorry. Sure. Uh, there's not and, much I can say about and, this. And my opinion, the funniest. Uh, um, Most like. Um, yeah. Can you like, listen? You're the one that's scaring me right now. Can you like, like turn off? Uh-uh. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. How's this? Better. She turns around. Yeah, I don't like about it. All right, so uh, um, and then, any uh, questions, Andy? Yeah, yeah anything. 
Okay. I'm good on that one. Alright. I got one more and then we can do my other topic that I have. Okay. Talk to me. It's an A24 film, which if you guys don't know, I think I told uh, Captain C about this. <coughs> A24 is known to be the, the greatest studio for horror films and films that just went the fuck with your brain. Okay? And combine those two. So... The guy, the great director David Cronenberg, also partners up with the, and partners up in the later half of his career, and now his son partners up with A24 Studios. <sighs> so I watched Talk to Me, which is an Australian horror film about them doing a séance, basically, where they uh, séance, in a way, yeah, where they uh, take like a a hand that's supposed to be a mummified um, oh, uh, medium's hand. Yes. And they uh, grip it, and they say, talk to me. And then they're supposed to see a go- uh, oh spirit. Oh, gosh. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Don't do that. I like it. No. And yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, the I spirit, and then they say, you, you're supposed to say, I let you in. And it's supposed to be like a drug, like, you're, like getting high. But it was re- it's really cool. It was a really good movie. It really fucked with my brain for a little bit. Okay, give us the grade. Jesus Christ. Nine. It's six Nine? Four. Yeah. Seriously. Wait. Yeah, the ending was... I love the ending. The ending was really good. Story-wise, right. everything was great. All right. All right. Did not spoil anything. I mean, no, oh. one, they don't, no one wants to be spoiled on this one. Yeah. Okay. The fi- my final topic is Lizzo's being sued. All right. What is this? Lizzo, you know the fat artist, Lizzo? The overweight artist? The one that keeps dancing in her underwear? No one that wears... Wait, what? what? Wait, what? Back, oh, yeah, that's a different one. Um, the, the, the fat, black, um, um, singer. Um, rapper, singer, and rapper, um, what she's saying, um, uh, is not my fault with my juice. Shit. Well, also, I don't care. I but, think it's something I put my hands up, yeah, lit, like lipstick on. I don't yeah. know. I've never heard of I've never heard of oh, I've been before. good as hell. I've oh, been, yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah that's I hate that song. Yeah. That's annoying. Are you looking her up? Uh, okay, well... Okay. She oh, wears a God. Hershey... She wears a, dre- she wears a dress that looks like a Hershey's bar. Oh, my God. <laughs> she is... She a big ins, we know. She big. A whale? Well, apparently... Apparently, you want to know why she's I think being... she would kill a whale. No, you want to <laughs> know why she's being sued, Andrew? Would like you like that. to know why? I got a... Because apparently... I got a no, stop. Because yeah, apparently... She's been making fun of her artist, her dancer's weight and calling them fat. fat. Irony. <laughs> Not to mention, or forced her dancers to eat a banana that was in a sex worker's private parts. Ew. Or force them to have sex with people. Yeah, or force them to have sex with people. Or do a 20-hour, or no, sorry, not 20-hour, 12-hour dance rehearsal with no breaks where... One was so stressed out that she made him piss herself. Christ. But she couldn't oh, I have to go what to the bathroom. What a dictator. Mm. Fucker. Yeah. Also was race was racial discriminatory and religious discriminatory. There was a lot of things in that lawsuit that made no sense. But I understand why. Because they're raking her across the coals. No, sh- no shit. I yeah. would too. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I would. Oh man. Uh, that it? That all you want? Yeah, that's all. I, that's all I need to hear. I don't give a shit. All right, so I have a I have another topic to discuss. Um, Ginger Beer is going to be doing a review for anyone that's wondering. He is going to be reviewing the new Netflix series, uh, One Piece. One Piece, along with One Eyed. Yeah. They are both going to do the first couple episodes to give you an idea of what you're going to be expecting. Well, yeah. it's not out yet, though. So. No, no, but I'm giving them. Well, like, yeah, I'm going to continue yeah. telling them that. Yeah. Like you guys are just be on the lookout. That's you guys are going to be doing that. We're also all going to be doing Avatar: The Last Airbender as a group. Uh, I think Double Shot would like some of it. Yeah, I think you would. I think you actually would like that show. It's pretty fun. That was that old Nick show from back in the day, right? Yeah, they make yeah. you a new one. It's very fun. And, um... Oh, man. 
How long is this episode so far? It's an hour and 29 minutes. Wow. We didn't get it for two hours? Or Not yet. We got 30 minutes. If you want to go, if you want to go a distance. We'll go a distance. All right, you want to go a distance. I, I can go a distance. <laughs> then we'll go play miniature golf after this. All right. Yeah, I don't have... I'm taking one out for that. No? I'm no, watch some TV and then we'll go to like, dinner? Yeah. Okay. Sounds I'm fucking hungry as hell. I don't Bobby's see how you are. It's only 4 o'clock. Well, he hasn't eaten yet. I haven't eaten yet. Well, I'll get to my clock. Oh, it's 5 o'clock. Then. Never mind. That's 5 o'clock. Sorry, you're saying. This, your clock you over here is wrong. You want to get to quick from McDonald's and then... Yeah, it's good. Well, it would have to would it be... Um, small. small like, yeah, that could really, be... Really small. Maybe small. not McDonald's. Maybe it's... 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 You can order it on oh, Uber Eats. Yeah, I can order it for you. You want to do it right now? Sure. All right. Oh, I do have a topic for Andrew. Oh, jeez. So, no um, we talked about this on a lot on a couple episodes ago. Uh, Shrek is coming out with a new movie. Uh, of course. Shrek Five. Shrek Five. What the fuck? I think it's Shrek Five, right? Yes. I think they're gonna catch up with Fast and Furious if they don't. Sl- I know they've so a, they slowed down. This is the first Shrek has been in, a while. in like what twelve years? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Thirteen years. Are you excited? Yeah, not really. Did you watch Shrek too? Yes, I have. Okay. I'm like good to something like. Oh my god. Um. And I find this interesting. You want to watch the Goosebumps show, correct? Yes. That's what you want. Oh, yeah, of course you want. So, seriously bad. Seriously bad. Interesting. Yeah, which I'm actually going to be... Ah. Sorry, 30 minutes to do that. Um, if, I, if we're going to be doing... Re- if I review it on the channel, we'll also review it on another channel, too. With yeah. some friends. Oh, I don't care if you do that. Yeah, I'm just, saying, I'm just letting you know, guys, so... Oh, but I like to have an idea. What do you want? <laughs> I want everything. No, <laughs> we're not getting everything. Are we really good? Uh, well, we could just talk about it. <laughs> what do you want to order? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, just do a sandwich and, and a drink. Yeah. Can you also order a bottle of water, Josh? I think. Um, you can. Yeah, I'll order a bottle for you, sure. Order a cup with ice. You fill the water in the sink. Use <laughs> <No. laughs> Rachel's bath water. <laughs> You, you, you could probably use Rachel's bath water. That's what Rachel said. Yeah. Oh. Mrs. Brian and I is getting raped over the coals right now. I mean, Jesus Christ. I know. I'm mean her. her I'm just kidding. The, I'm the, mean the her. minute she walked in the door. Can I, can I just say one thing? Go ahead. All right. When I, I'm going to be honest with you. There is there is worry that I would be worried about is that the Cartoon Network studio might be closing down. Yeah. I would be worried about that because I actually enjoy most of what comes out of there. So do I. It really felt bad because I was like, I own the Curry's County Dog series. I want to own the Billy Grimwich is a Billy and Mandy series. I'm going to look for that because there is a box set. My Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. You already added it? Yeah. What, wait, what? Did you already add it? The water. I do it. Okay. Yeah, bottle of water. There you go. You got I'll a get, bottle of water. I'll get the bottle of water. Give me a minute. I'll give you five. And then Andrew will give you a can of whoop ass. You will not give me a can of nothing. <laughs> Why did you find this? It was on the Sony. Is that okay with you? That works for me. I'm gonna get myself a, a, I'm hurry too. a can of whoop ass, huh? Can of whoop ass. <laughs> psh, 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 psh. Why did you? You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I'm gonna say this now. I'm surprised that we got 300 downloads about this quick. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> this is our 20 how we did second this? episode. What? How long? How we, uh, two years. Two years. Two years. Oh, and we got 300 downloads. Jesus. It's hard I want I want to get the 500 downloads, and I do want to start building this podcast, because I think it's doing pretty well, mm-hmm. the fact that we got 300 downloads. Yeah. Right, yeah. And I would love to start filming. I really would. I yeah, would love to start filming. camera situation, though, because we tried it last time. I think buying a camera that we can put right there 
and then filming it on I think YouTube or whatever like whatever software that he uses. Minshot. Minshot, yeah. Whatever software you use would be actually the One best second. thing. I didn't even show you it to you. Here we go. That's what Minshot looks like. You, okay. do the, you open this up and then Well that's for your iPhone. Yeah, no, it's for computer too. Oh, alright. We can do that for a computer. And did you, did you order the stuff? What? You ordered the stuff. No, no, no. I'm uh, trying to show you how you can do it real quick. Here, order the stuff first. Order right? the stuff first, and order then the stuff, we'll do it. <laughs> order the stuff. I'm going to get myself a high, uh, high C fruit punch. I'm kind of thirsty. Uh, <laughs> All right. See. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you, Han. <laughs> Bless you, Han. <laughs> For all those that were wondering where the water was coming from, that would be the bath. The yes, walls no. are thin here. I hear everything. <laughs> everything. That's what my dad said when my mom goes to the bathroom. He, he, he hears her. He, God damn it. Oh no, she farts. <laughs> she farts out in the open. My God. Well, I'm not surprised anymore. Well, she's 70, so I don't... Oh, she's 60. 62? Or almost 63? 63. She's 63 now, so I don't think she cares. I was going to say, there's no way... No, my mom's not 70. She's 63. Okay, well... But my grandmother is 92. That could have been bad. What? I almost sent the food to my parents. (laughs) Oh! Oops. Oopsie Einstein. Oopsie poopsie. Well, he's not Einstein. Yeah, see, what if Einstein give you smarts? No, Einstein, no, Einstein is German. And skinny. He's Romanian. <laughs> and has white hair. And has white hair. Uh, yeah, well, I do. He's old. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, old. I'm, I'm Romanian. I'm a bunch of things. I'm not just Romanian. <laughs> Romania. Romania. I'm Romanian. Yeah, I'm oh, Dracula. Oh, is anyone interested in the Dracula movie that's coming out? No. Uh, not really. No. Uh, I'm uh, the voyage of the last the, the, the last voyage of the demeanor. I am yes. Yes. I'm planning to go see it tomorrow. What? I'm curious. Uh, so just curious to see who is interested. Hmm. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I, I'm just. I'm just happy that there are at least some people listening to our podcast, and I hope that this continues. <laughs> okay, I've ordered it. So here's how you do in shot. If you guys want to know, we ordered from Chick Fil A. So hungry. <laughs> Did we eat anything for lunch today, dude? No, no, he didn't eat anything at all. He didn't even eat breakfast. I woke up at 11. Yeah. Of course you did. <laughs> you couldn't wake up at 8 if your life depended on it. I work late, okay? Jeez. I have, I have a question. Um, I'm getting ready to buy... I think I think I pre-ordered the Spider-Man game. Did you pre-order it yet? Spider-Man 2? Uh, what did they get not yet. Uh, I think I think so I got. You can do with photos. I got the collectors videos. where you get like cool costumes. Yeah. I really so see like this. I'll be honest. Like I really this. care about what's the canvas. Want to change like, the background? Like so you go all the extra stuff. You go or like color. Well, sometimes, sometimes okay. I don't. Sometimes I do. Just, if they uh, co- if, if the costumes look cool, like, then I care about them. If there's extra just, stories, like. Like if it's a what season? Um, so like in there. Like what? So, so like Arkham Knight, basically. Where yeah, yeah extra like, campaigns. Okay, yeah, campaigns. Yeah, I buy that. Yeah. Oh, story. I'll care about. Yeah, I'll care about. He's thinking ahead. Say what? He's looking at the menu for Twin Peaks. <laughs> oh, the menu. Got it. Yeah, the blonde is the, menu, is, yeah. the blonde is the one that's free, Andrew. He's tasty. Yeah, she's tasty. She's very tasty. Hey. Are we still on air? <laughs> yeah, we're still on air. You're still not on air. recording you this deep time. Idiots. Yeah, this is no. uh, the this is the I, Cannonball Podcast after oh, hours. Shit. I need, hold on, I had the whole time. Oh, and of course, somebody posted a video on um, oh, we're, TikTok. We're, we're pausing in the middle of. Yes, yeah, so no, we're going to Twin Peaks. Is there I, anyone I out there? I just told my parents. I just told my parents. I'm going to a strip club. I'm going to. I'm not going to be home for dinner. And they're like, okay. You're welcome. I'm still I'm still recording, by the way. I haven't got to tell my parents anything. Oh, my God. Yes, I'm recording. Oh, wait. Are you actually looking at, like, naked pictures? No. Everyone out there? Yeah. yeah. Everyone out there. <laughs> double shots looking at he naked is. photos. <laughs> He's looking at naked photos. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. Double shots. Wait. Oh, you. <laughs> you. 
You fucking piece of shit, asshole, oh, mother look, Andrew, fucker. I'm not, I'm not sure. judging, but don't. But do you hear? I'll do you better. I didn't do it. I was just looking at Twin Peaks just to see what it was uh-huh, all about. All right, yeah. Yeah. yeah and and sure. that's coming from the one who jerked off in bed while he was high. Are you ever Wait, what? going to... <laughs> Hell no, we're not going to let that go. Don't look at me! <laughs> Don't look at me! I had to point out... I had to point out. This is coming from the Japanese furry. <laughs> I have no shame. I'll be honest. I'll tell you right now. But drinking off a high is best. Alright, would you like brother. to elaborate? No, in front of your friends. No, elaborate. Well, well you see. Feels different, it hits different. It does. Like, <laughs> it, just, <laughs> it just does, bro. And now we moved on to masturbation. Oh, yeah. Why yes. not? <laughs> we're already in the we're already in the after dark moment, so we're like, already heading continue. downhill quick, so fuck it. Well, the room is spinning a little bit. He got, yeah, he got, you got your mood elevated, and you know what? The pulse not clarity is even more clearer. Plus, you don't have the moments. What have I done? Yeah, you're just like, yeah. What have I done? Well, what just, well, whatever you do, well, don't, well, don't give me high as, well, don't give me high as a club. I just said one thing. Oh, I just said one thing. You're not allowed to have any marijuana when we go to movies. Any marijuana when, when we go to freaking strip clubs, clubs, anything outside that requires that you might get arrested, because if well, you get arrested, then... We get in trouble. Yeah. Cause and we, I am not bailing you out. Well, I Andrew, come on, bro, why you bail him out? Nah, I would bail. Nah, I bail him out. I would I would have almost certain... I probably would have certain... I'll think about the time, because... You can... All right, you can go. Oh. But, but, but... But I jerked off. Uh, yeah, I jerked off. Today. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh well, yeah, did she? Is everyone doing it? <laughs> yeah, I have a question. Where did you get that shirt? Oh, um, well maybe. Um, ah, I'm. Nice. Um, everyone, I am wearing a uh, a Dragon Ball Z shirt. Yeah, with what? Goku and, and Gohan. One, Gohan. I Go believe. ten. Go ten. Oh, either one. You think? Gohan is the... Uh, oh, yeah, Gohan resents Goku. Well, yeah, well, I'm sure he does, yeah. But it, I... I'm sorry. I'm a... I am a... Massive... Um, QBZ fan. Yeah, we all know that. Yeah, well, so, like, I did you get that. that. Did you get that real? I sent you the PS5 cover yes. skins. Yeah, yeah. I saw that, and... It made you want it, didn't it? Yeah, I... I do want it. I... <laughs> And plus, I need. I need uh, fun fact: you can um, you can order it. You can pop off your old white one and then plug that in. I also don't know why, but when you're masturbating while high, it just has. <laughs> what are you still talking about? <laughs> and we're back in the rabbit God hole. Damn it. <laughs> and I don't know why, but it just feels like you know you have that numbing agent a little bit. Like you feel like you're getting hugged by God, boy. Yes, I know that. Come on. Who cares? I think, we all, I think we all figured out who does dry and who does things. Make sure of Stroke. Stroke. Stop mocking me. That's me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Stop mocking me. Hey, look. Hey, look. It's only a matter of time before we catch Double Shot Andy doing it. So... Uh, One okay. of these days. Oh, we called. We could have called him yesterday. Well, no, we didn't call. Ago. He said he was taking oh care God. of business. Want, he was taking care of a session. He was doing a session. <laughs> my God, I wanted. To, I wanted. To, I wanted to get you high and, and flirt. No, you were not going to get me high. And flirt. We'll figure you could. Well, the, I could, well, the girl. Okay. No. I like to see that. Yes. Not yeah. a chance Andrew. I hell. swear. I swear. If you get high and you try to flirt with the girl, it'll be ten times better because. Your your fear will go away. Whoa. No, I am not getting high. So we're It'll deciding. Be cool. So, so we you want to be a loser for this one? So okay. we decided that we're going to Twin Peaks, right? Yes. So we're deciding that Andrew has to talk to the waitress. Yes. And you have to give her eye contact. You can't yeah. just eyes up there. Yeah, eyes up there. Eyes up there, not there. That's what and, I did. Then, uh, and then well, he has to. There. Actually, I'll look wherever I fit down with you. Okay. Hey Josh, I think I think out the way. 
I'm not talking to her, I think. No, I looked at I looked right at her. I looked right at her too. Then I did this. I gave, I gave yeah. thoughts. No, no, but here's the fun fact. So not only do you have to look her in the eye when you order, at the end of the meal, you have to request for a photo with our waitress. Yes. That is if she's hot. No, 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 they're all no, hot. No, 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 they're all hot. No, yeah. Oh hell no. Who yeah. is this tattoo? Whoa, whoa, hang on. Who is why would twin twin peaks not peaks. hot not hire a hot girl? Yeah. Why would you say I will let you know if she if oh, I say no, yes oh, no, 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 no. Hot to your type. Does not that count as big. Yes, it does. No, no it doesn't. Because no, that picture's no, no, no. gonna be on here. Yes. I want her to be my type. No. Uh, my. How you fine. That? Fine. You no, no. Fine. I think no, you no, no. If you brought that photo to your dad, he'd be like, lucky bastard. You should. <laughs> um, we'll see. Okay. First off. Yeah, hot your type or not? No, no, no. First off. No. First off. Hot my type, and I'm pretty sure my, I'm pretty sure my dad would probably be impressed. First off. First off. Even though we they know. Don't know there, we know that the girl who set us last time. Yeah. She, she was blonde. And she didn't have a lot of tattoos. Wait, the one that she was blonde. No, 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 the one that was standing there. Standing? Oh, the one that gets together. When we were leaving. Three, yeah. When we were leaving. Yeah. Wait. She had no tattoos. Wait, yeah. now that one might drum up my attention. When that happened? When we went to the last time. We only went one other time. Yeah. When it was just the three of us. Well, our... Our, um, our, our waitress, waitress was well, like it's hot. A rating or something. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm talking about the girl who was sitting people. Yeah, the one that, the hostess. Yeah, the hostess. Yeah, she was hot. I forgot. I, yeah, there were some hot hostesses. Wait, what? Do they have guys? No. Uh, uh, Hell oh, no. 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 Bartender, maybe. No, maybe oh, bartender. Yeah, bartender, yeah. bartender, yes. And a male manager. Andrew, yeah. A male Here, manager. Andrew, I promise you the picture. Come on, we'll take it with the guy. Come on. Hell no. <laughs> Watch his uh, dick pop out of <laughs> you. Although Hooters did hire a gay man. Yeah, really? Did. Yeah. Yeah, they did hire a gay man, and he had to wear the outfit. Well, really? you know the problem with that. I bet you that a lot of people... There was, a, problem. There was a lot of problem with that because they took their kids there. Oh, no, no, no. 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 Wait, who did you? Let me explain. Let me explain. There was no problem on the gay guy side. No, 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 no. no I'm talking about the yeah, uh, on the parents, parents, the kids, man. Yeah. Come on. The well, kids, they, do it. they brought they, they, they brought yeah. kids to Twin Peaks. We saw like we I saw, saw that, we yeah. saw I a saw, ten year old walk out. I saw a ten year there. We saw a ten year old and a family walk out, and you know that it was the dad's choice because the mom didn't well, say look at, did not look she at did not look at mom was mad, wasn't she? Oh, dude. The mom was like. I'm gonna give this now. My personal rating, not with a seven. They got our waitress. Oh, hell who no. was a ten. Our waitress was a ten. No, no, no. Uh, no, I said the mom was a seven. The waitress was a was a ten. I had to point out we were behind we were behind. we were sat next to nurses. Yeah, women nurses. Which like I was three like, women nurses who you wouldn't think would be there. Yeah. Oh I don't God. know if they were Oh I'm sorry. They were off the clock. No, but I think no. I think he was mean. I think they're gay. Well, no, I was going to say. Oh, if I, if I, if I, if I uh, took my wife to the Twin Peaks, I would get I, 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 I would get so many dirty looks. No, no, no you see, would get a lot of dirty looks. I would. I've already, I've already sh- made peace. So. Oh. Let him I would ask. I would ask the waitress. Hey, um. What do you, what do you um, what do you sell with those outfits? Wait, and then, and then, and then, I would give my wife and say, you know, what I'm asking right now. Playing tonight, honey. Oh no, it's called, dude. You don't even have to buy it. Go to a fucking, go to a fucking Walmart. Buy khaki pants. Have her cut them off. Buy a flannel. Buy a flannel. Tie the flannel up and then or their boom. Store. There you go. Boom. Or, or thrift store. Or a thrift store. Yeah. You got a Twin Peaks whore. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, can I say something? If I brought my wife to a. Uh, to Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> my Rachel to Twin Peaks. I already made pizza. I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
But we all so hold on. So we're so so let's let's continue. I want this all on the podcast so that way he can't weasel out. So we're we're so we're doing this. We're yes. gonna have Andy. He's gotta make eye contact with the waitress. Yes. Done. Good luck. Okay. With that. Two. Fuck off, John. Two. <laughs> He has to flirt Third. while I ask. No. Yeah, yeah. Yes. While no. Ask. Yes. 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 No. John did. John, I, I did too. John. No. John flirted while I asking flirted. for the photo. I flirted while asking for the photo too. Yeah. It was a slight flirt, but I flirted. John did flirt. Well, well yeah. Well, well, well. Rachel doesn't care. You did a good flirt too. You were doing a well, good well, flirt. Oh well. well no. Well, well, according to Josh, it was stupid. No, because well, he's an idiot. Because he's an idiot. You are look, you're you're considered a guy that's good enough that you could get away with that flirt technique. Yeah, Josh I, is too ugly that he couldn't get away no, with I that flirt away. technique. I I was judging it on the basis of me, not on the basis of Josh. Yes, but you said it was stupid outright. Yeah. And it hurt John's which, feelings. I, which, again, I apologize, John. I am sorry. Mm. You can pull off that flirt. People like me cannot pull off that flirt. Well, and we're gonna about, we're going to see if Andy can do it. Not happening. You are totally doing it. I swear to God, Andrew, if you do not do it, you owe me gas today. You are buying I gas. I already paid no, 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 $10. No, bitch. $10 bucks from keeping snow, but you owe me gas. I already paid you your 10 bucks. so guess what? We made an agreement. I'm not... I'm not Fine, you give me ice cream. Well, I just want gonna... I just want you to hand me your phone while I get the picture for you. Yes. I'm just gonna get I'm just gonna like okay, yeah, here we go. Here we go. You're gonna get right in there now? Yeah, I just yeah. Also right Andrew, to the chest. Andrew, right can there. you just Andrew, can you just go right there? Yeah, can you just go up to the uh, chest? <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm sorry, I'm a bit nervous. My friends here are idiots. I would like to point out that we're just we're trying to get you to do this. We're trying to get you out of your shell. Yeah. Stop being afraid of women. I'm not afraid of women. I just choose not to talk or choose not to flirt with them. Yeah, scared. Yeah, afraid. Afraid. I choose not to. There is a difference. No, oh, you're afraid. You're afraid. No, I'm oh. not. Why do you choose? I'm. I don't trust the scene right now because of the fact that I've been stiff twice in a row. Because so, you're afraid. The, Fuck it. Afraid. So you're afraid. But first off, first okay. off, you Dude, can't. You you fucked up that that one that that one with the train. That was a clear go to one, and you fucked it up. You went way too heavy, way too fast. That's on you on yeah. that one. But the other one, I don't, I don't see it. All right, well, we'll let you all know what happens on the next podcast okay. if it goes, if anything happens and it goes well. If not, it won't be worth talking about. Oh no! It'll be a hundred percent worth not, talking about. If our waitress is not my level of hot, oh my then god. Dude, John's getting the happen. photo then. I don't care. John, yep, yeah, I will be more than happy to take the photo for John. Then we'll shove you in the photo too. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make Andrew take a photo with that hostess. Good. Because I know Good that's luck. his time. You no, think I'm gonna make you. it. No, no, they'll do it. Those girls are. Those girls will get flattered if you ask. Yeah. They get flattered. I'll bet. Well, the, well so ours did say. it. Ours was really flattered. Yeah, she was really flattered when we asked. Because you said we were, she, we were talking about drive. someone that worked there. And she was the beautiful one. Yeah. yeah. She, we, she doesn't get a photo with you. Yeah. So don't you want to get a photo with her? Right. No. no. <laughs> Anything yeah. else, Andrew, do you want to talk about? No. No? Yeah. All right. All right, then. All right, this has been another episode of the Cannonball Podcast. Wow. This is Captain Z. This is going to end well. And I'm signing off. Also, leave, leave, also enjoy next episode.